Hey guys, just a guy here. With another episode of SevTech. Uh, it's been a little while. I was trying to update the game. There's been a new patch. It's mostly just some bug fixes and stuff. But Twitch has failed to download it like four or five times, so I'm just recording this today because um, it's already been a while. But we are here in the hunting dimension with my little janky mob farm of doom. I don't know if I've shown it since I changed it, but I just uh, have punji sticks and uh, blood channels made from blood you know melted down rotten flesh and it makes nice the little channels that follow direction and pushes everything into the punji sticks whoops and obviously I have night vision and all that stuff going so I can actually see in this dimension but I had a lot of trouble getting this uh, ender dust I barely found any endermen and I had to kill like I swear four of them to get one ender dust luckily it's all I need to make an ender pearl Oh yeah. And the bright side too is I got comfortable in my armor, which I think is like level one or two, by getting blown up by creepers and stuff. But uh we are going to break that again. Because otherwise you hear constant mob sounds. And all you gotta do is right click it with a sword to turn it back on. If it's not near your base, it's fine, but I mine's near my base, and it makes it sound like there's an enemy all the time. But, I don't know what I'm doing up here. I do need the cast. The pan cast, I believe. Patterns. Pan pattern. Tool station, part builder. I guess I didn't need to get that out. I forgot about that. We got a wooden pan. We pour this in our handy dandy fancy cast maker, which almost exclusively holds gold. And now we just need to melt this thing. And we may as well put it in our actual smeltery. Because I don't feel like draining out the iron or anything else in those things. So we got several tables here. And we just chuck that in there. Should burn up pretty fast. And then we just have to select it. Actually pretty slow. But um at Astral. We're going to be making our rod to hopefully be able to do all the stuff we wanted to do in the last episode. The resonating wand. There we go. Now there's a couple different ones. I don't think I don't know what they do. They're like the different constellations. We have this one and this one. I I honestly don't know if there's a difference. Doesn't seem like it. But okay, we can see it's done melting. Molten Ender Pearl. I don't know if that means we can make there's like a ender alloy. I don't know which one. But I don't know if we have the other materials for it. But we got an ender pearl. All that for an ender pearl, by the way. Luckily, it's one dust per pearl. They don't mess with you otherwise. And then we need the marble and the aquamarines. Okay, we got that aquamarine still. I put the marble down. In a very, very dumb place of it. Oh no, I put it in here. Okay, that's good. So, wand. Resonating wand, there we go. Oh, come on, not even an advancement. How cruel. I got one. Oh, I don't have the stuff. How do I not get that? Oh, because I didn't do this. Okay. But we have this. Then we need to take our marble back. Let's go back to our roof and maybe sort of see if we can do what we wanted with the light wells. Oh, yeah, we clicked it. It works. Bam. Chiseled marble. Now we need... 
various marble recipes. We want how to make it. There we go. Good old shift click. Uh, let's take some of this out. Because again, we don't want it all. And bam. For remember, this takes very little. So the bar at the bottom doesn't have to be full to make every recipe. All right. And then this should make pillared marble as well, if I remember right. She's a little ruined. Recipe. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. How do we get this to be astral sorcery marble? Seems like we have to use a chisel. I swear there was a way to not. We can make a chisel or we can just do this chisel. A stick and a piece of iron. We can do that. I hope. Chisel. Chisel and bits. It's a very nice mod. It really lets you find detail of base, but it, it honestly takes a million times more effort to do anything. It, it There's like patterns and stuff you can say. It gets really cool, but it's a lot of investment. It's definitely for something you want to really work at making it look good. But we can t do something like this. Right? No, it has to be clicked in the world. There we go. Right click. Put the blocks you want to change. Whoops. In. There we go, and then we can change this to Astral Marble. Marble Arch, Pillar. There we go, we change all those. And then we'll change half of these. Can we change these into the Marble Ruined? There's really no sorting that I can tell. Maybe it's alphabetical. Well, if it's here, I am missing it. Uh, marble pillar. Nope. There we go. So we can skip that step of making several. That's interesting. And these look amazing, by the way. The actual sorcery blocks look amazingly. It's a really nice white block for most of it. And then you got the soot marble too. All right. So, light well time. Okay, do we have enough? Yes, we do have two more aquamarines. I'm gonna have to go find some more. All right, and then right click. And we have our light well. Now, I do believe we need the linking wand to make good use of this, but if we go to uses of this, we can make liquid starlight by putting crystals in there. And that's what we need to make our portal to the between lands mostly. As you can see, you can make starlight of a lot of things, but it's obviously best to just use these crystals. You get more from some of the better stuff. You can make lava, which I made a pretty big thing of. Uh, magma, I believe. You can get water. I believe you can get magma from netherrack, too, unless that's been changed. Yeah, there you go. I don't actually have access to that, obviously, but easy access to lava is an amazing way to run your smeltery until you get better fuels but let's take our um, boxes here although I probably could have just moved my stair light well down here because I don't think it needs that oh it does need sky access and this will take a little while to be honest
Because as you can see, uh, it's got to power through it. Now, I believe if you have focusing things and all that stuff, it goes a little faster. All right, so it's getting up there. Let's get our bucket out. One crystal's given me more than a bucket worth. And not only is this used for quite a few things, to be honest, it looks amazing. Um, in my last playthrough, I tried to make like a really gorgeous fountainy waterfall building. And I mean, it's just amazing. It does turn into cobblestone or whatever if it gets exposed to lava. And really does flow fast. Huh. I don't remember flowing that fast before. Wow. You do get night vision or whatever while you're touching it. Let's see, is it just because of the horse thing right there? Or is it always that fast? Hello? No, it is. Wow, they, they changed that. Hello, goodbye. You're not worth my time. So as you can see, it's actually kind of funny thing watch to control these guys. Hello. Obviously, if you had it set up in a way, you could push enemies away really fast. Make a really good mob flushing farm. Not that you need it in particular in mod Minecraft. And they try to avoid it, I guess. All right, guys, we got our starlight. We only needed actually one. I just looked it up, but uh, hello. Oh. Um, to get to the twilight forest, we just need a two by two old water, surrounded with plants, saplings, and flowers, and then astral sorcery star metal ingot to get it to going. So that's why we need the astral sorcery stuff. But the next thing we need to do, I'm not sure what that is for. Um, it's help finding your right spot, I guess. But we need to make a upgraded luminous crafting table. So for that, all we need is um, the pillars, chisel marble. This thing, okay. We just need a rock crystal, our liquid starlight, four pillars, and two chiseled. And then quite a bit of... Uh, Glowy essence, I believe. It is upgrading. Look at the fanciness. Aha, uh -huh. person burning. It might not have a starlight now that the sun's coming up. Oh wow, there it goes. It just slowly did it over time as it got more and more power. But we got the improved thing. Now this one actually requires a setup, I believe. Starlight crafting altar. But uh, yeah, I don't know how long this episode will be after I do all the cuts. But obviously because it's actual sorcery, it wastes a lot of time doing things. But we have this. We have our chisel for what it's worth. I mean, I'm not particularly you know, huge on chiseling. It's just super detail work. But we got our altar. We are progressing down this little path. I will need to make a construction paper just to get all these things done, I believe. But the next thing we can do is um the twi or the star metaling it. If we go to star metal I think I can make one because I found some stardust on the ground. Um, obviously, if we can convert an iron ore into a thing in the transmutation thing, or we can make one out of all this stuff. Because we don't actually have iron ore in this game, this world. Um, at least not until later on when you can convert things. 
we only have this iron cluster, so we'll have to do this. The illumination powder, which I believe is, yeah, glass, sand, and aquamarines, and all that fun stuff. Um, we'll have to make ours through that way. Oops. And this actual stardust, we need four of them. Come on. But yeah, we need two stardust, which you can only get one per surface sample, or you gotta do go through all that other stuff to make the star metal ore. Yeah, you gotta grind these from ingots, which obviously you need to make them, so bad job because you get two. You can transmute with an infuser, I think it's salt or something. We don't have it yet. Rock crystal, black iron, ender dust, and lapis. The Hellfire Forge. I've never did that in the last playthrough, I don't think. That actually might work. Of course, black iron is a bit of a pain. But yeah, guys, um this guy this is just a signing off. Just a, just a guy signing off. Catch you guys later. Bye.